Welcome to our system. We have just rebooted. What have we done? We've installed Arch Labs on a virtual box. We went to arch uh, Eric, to, to the github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Arch Labs, installed or downloaded cloned git clone all the scripts, installed 0 then till 499, almost 490. And then we went to the personal folder, installed all these kind of things, and this is the look you get when you reboot. So I've done nothing yet, it's uh, the way it is. And the thing you uh, really probably would like to change is this plank here, which is quite nice, but it's the wrong place. We have chosen to put a tint 2 panel, which is this one here. We've chosen to put it at the bottom, but we want then to move this one with right mouse click and the control to the left of your keyboard, pressing them. So control pressed, and now the right mouse click gives you the preferences. And now you can say to change the theme. So we can take a look at what we like. This is also quite nice. Change your bread to position to the top. And then a little bit. I can zoom inside of it. Maybe the icon's a little bit smaller or bigger. That's up to you. And that's it. We have now set our system. If you don't like it, there are 100 themes in there. Glass pill and so on. You can go over it with the arrows. Maybe this one is also nice, light panel. And there we have it. So what do you have now? We have now an Arch Labs installation with all the software and the caveats are out of there, no typos anymore. And we have also the icons here, the applications are installed with the Aureola Conky, which is booted already. We have a special kind of panel here. Tint 2 panel has been laid out differently, completely differently than it used to be. Time is better. I have applications that I like. I have this passes tray, which I say, please um, use this one for Bluetooth, for instance. Devices where you want to play your music to. It's so easy. You just say playback stream and use our default source and say, okay, I want to point it to that device and it's done and you listen to your music. Clip it, it's programmed to, if you do Ctrl C, it's going to remember it, and after 15 minutes you need an hexadecimal color, for instance, again. You go to clip it and you have it. There's also Porcelite or other programs for clipboard managers, as they call it. And this is our network managing system. And then most importantly, when you open, when there is no menu, there's no program, you can add some applications here to the tin tool, but I do not want to put it because I have this here, which I think is nicer. Question of design and customization is so easy. So I want to look at my icons from time to time. But the, ma the main thing here in open box is the menu. It's a kind of special thing. So if we right mouse click it, we have a completely different kind of menu. And as you can see, it's quite transparent. So the transparency is because of Compton. We have this file that we copy pasted from the 600. And the Compton is taking care of a lot of things. So transparency is one of them. Shadow behind uh, Windows is another one of them. If we open a program, then it has always a border. And as you can see, the border here is transparent. So this is set in the Compton. When we move something down, minimize it, then what you see, a special kind of effect. It's going to fade in, fade out, and that's all set in the content file. So you, if you copy paste these things from the 600, so I just, I've, I've put on my website, ericdubois.pe, I said, look, those and those and those are quite important, and this is one of them. So Compton is making our system look groovy nice beautiful yeah. so that's one effect you have then there's another thing i should talk about and that's the programs of course i don't have to go into programs you just click on firefox done but there is this here this strange thing maybe kill nemo you can kill a program why there is uh, there are many file managers around so there is tunar nautilus nemo 
um, PC Man FM, a lot of things. But working on the Saturday icons, which is these things here up here, then I need from time to time to be able to look and search and work. And the workflow I'm, I'm accustomed to and I want to have is good in Nemo. So I installed the program Nemo, which is a file manager from Linux Mint. And when I open it, now it comes, when I open it, clicking on the desktop, in many distros you can make a folder or a file or even a link. But here we don't have that. In Openbox you get a menu. So right mouse click, nothing happens. We can work on a desktop, but then you have to go it, do it like this, and then right mouse click, create folder, and so on. But when and when and once you click on Nemo, it's actually actually going to take over your desktop. So I like to work in Nemo, and I see some settings I don't like. So let's quickly change that to one. So some extra buttons, and this one I like particularly. So it's going to open a program if. And that's a big if. And if you install GNOME Terminal, this is behind this little button, GNOME Terminal. But I'm going to install it later because I want the GNOME Terminal transparent. Everything I like and see in terminals are transparent. So the Nemo has started. And from now, right mouse click, there is no menu anymore. I can create a new folder and I can start working and I do stuff and I might make a script and in the end you can compress it and extract it and all that. So I'm working on my system, on my desktop, I can use it to work. But then my menu is gone. How do we solve it? There is another shortcut you should know or should remember. It's Windows Spacebar. So Windows Spacebar and you have your menu, menu anyway. And what can I do now? There's two things I can do if I say enough work done with Sardi, no Nemo anymore needed, then I can kill Nemo. So right mouse click does not work. I can do Windows spacebar, kill Nemo. And I've made another shortcut, Control Alt N, the N for Nemo. And when I press one of those, you see a, a flash, a bit dark. And then again, here we have our system. So just in case I have I've work to do on the study icons, I'm using the Nemo, and otherwise I'll be using Tuner File Manager. In other tutorials to come, we'll discuss more about these things, which is quite interesting, of course, to how do we configure it, what are the preferences, how do we set them, and system things that I've added, etc., etc. What we changed as well is lock screen and the exit, but let's tell you about that in other tutorials. So this is the new setup. This is open box and tuned already, tweaked already, and have fun.